So now what I did, I said fine, let's also try to write the input data. We finished with the student. Let's write it also for the examiner. So I copied what was in the student and I tried to put in examiner. Then I'm seeing some red as if I was a referee on the field there. Why is there red here? I think we know the reason. Second line, if you want to use your text boxes, you have to say using system.windows uh, windows, yeah, dot forms. That's the first mistake. Right, then we go downstairs and check. Is it better? Yes, the red at this level has disappeared. Now, let's try to carry on. He's saying, I don't know anything about the student number. I don't know anything about an internal mark, external mark. I am an examiner. So, what do you have as an examiner? If you don't have student numbers, you have a staff number. So, I remove here, it was student number SD. Now, I put SF, like staff number. I do not have an internal mark and examiner, but I have a hourly rate. How much did you pay me per hour? And also, I have a number of hours. Okay, examiner has staff number, they have hourly rate, and they have number of hours. So we're going to adapt it. The field for staff number is STF, staff number, and then we said it was the text box SF, it's not complaining, and then we go to internal mark, no, we are no more students. Instead, we had the hourly rate, so we call it H rate, and then uh, it was not a U in, the rate was a double. And then we said pass. What is the text box for the hourly rate? It was HR, like hourly rate. The other one is number of hours, that is the accessors or property. After that, we know that the number of hours is not a U in, it is a double. And then the text box for the number of hours is TB4, it was N number of hours. And that, there are no more mistakes, which means the input data for this one is over. I can just save everything and close.